Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today I have for you guys something a little bit special. Uh, this is Zell9000 and he has an Evil 3 Dark Shinobi. So, I, I decided to use this team. I wanted to kind of test him out because he's basically like a better version of the Dark Atito. So I wanted to do a damage test between the two. He is, uh, this Shinobi is a very, very new Nat 5. He's one of the newest ones. And he also has a single target 5-star um, skill. And he has Hunter, which will hit very, very hard because he he has a very, very high um, attack. He has nat, nat 5 stats compared to Nat 4 stats. So if you take a look at his um, attack right now, it's at 8,471 compared to my Dark Atito, who is at um, 7,894. And my Dark Atito is on Intuition, um, basically attack double crit rate, 100% uh, crit. And he has his on, on a Broken Set, crit rate, double attack, all 6 star gems. And both of these gems have decently high crit rate substats. His other, his, his uh, crit rate gem over here also has 21% attack, which is definitely really, really good. So we're going to throw these guys in, we're going to test out um, their damage. I decided to bring a... a uh, a crit buff just to make sure he always crits and then I I'm gonna put in an armor breaker and to, just to compare the, the damage of the two so we can see how much damage he can do um, on an armor break and we'll 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 go go from there I'm not sure if I should put a crit leader I don't think it's needed he, he has like 98% crit which is very very close to 100% I'll just to be safe I'll put a HP lead and a and a, uh, a healer just in case like to make sure nobody dies, all right. Just to just to make sure nobody dies um, throughout the whole entire progress or process. Let's let's test this out. Oh man, this is uh. I was talking about the Dark Shinobi and how good he would be for for Dragon Speed Ten if I had him. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage tests. All right, th so there's two Dark Moon Flowers here. Um, let's uh let's do their first skills. Let's compare the damage of the two. Um, using their first skill. So this is my Dark Atito going in with 3 hits of 10k. And then this is the Dark Shinobi. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5. Uh, that was 5 hits of 6k. So that's like... Um, that's about the same, actually. It's about the same, but he's actually definitely better because he has more hits. And more hits generates more orbs. So uh, that's... You know, as you can see, there's there's more orbs floating on this one compared to this one, who only has one. And yeah, we'll 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 test out their their uh, second skill and stuff very very soon. So we're gonna uh, we're just gonna armor break this uh, little sparkler, and I guess I should actually take out one of the moonflowers just in case. But I'll take out one of the sparklers just so there's only three guys attacking, just just in case anybody uh, takes too much damage. Oh, I should have put in the light siren. That was a little bit dangerous. If they both crit, he could have died. All right, let's do that test again. Let's 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 uh let's see how much damage they can do. 10k compared to one, two, three, three, four, five. So that's uh yeah, it's five hits. Five hits of 6k. I should have put in the light siren so she can solo tank and stuff. All right, let's 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 look at, take a look at his damage um, on armor break. I'm gonna armor break this moonflower. I'm gonna use the dark shinobi to attack. I'll, I'll actually use the uh, the Gatito to attack first and see how much damage he does on armor break, and then we can compare compare that to the dark shinobi. So it's about 20k, three hits of 20k. So it does about double double the damage. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take out one of these minnows first because they are attack type monsters. So there's only two monsters attacking us. So we should be pretty safe for now. Alright, so I'm going to armor break this Moonflower now. And then I'm going to hit with the uh, the Shinobi. And we'll see how much damage this does. So that was, uh, that was like 12, about 12k. 5 hits of that. Um... Oh, wait, my math is bad. So it's about 60k as well. Yeah, it's about 60k. I so far their damage seems pretty similar. Their their uh, damage output 
but he is definitely better because he, he does have five hits. You know, three hits of of the same damage compared to five hits of the same damage, the, the five hits definitely does does do better because five hits means you have uh you have more more uh the 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 ability to generate more blue souls and he also has different um, better utility because he can sp siphon as well instead of just morale boosting so there's three dark dark moon flowers here um, in order to test this out I'm going to I'm going to armor break one of them and I'm going to use my active on my dark atito uh, and then we can see how much damage this does I think it does does about five hits one two three four five six it's like seven hits of a uh, 27k ish and then we'll We'll uh, very quickly take out this Moonflower. Oh shit, I didn't die. Please don't both hit the Shinobi. Okay, we're, we're in an okay position. Alright, I'm just going to use my Dark Atito to finish this, this guy off so he's no longer a threat. And then I'm going to armor break this Moonflower. And we'll see how much damage uh, this, this Shinobi can do on the Moonflower. Alright? Moment of truth. Oh shit, that was way too fast. What the fuck? <laughs> that was like That was like ten or ten or eleven hits. That was that was some uh that was some insane shit. That was a lot of hits. That was like I, I, I couldn't even see that. I think I need to I think I'll need to slow that down. Sorry, we should probably be able to do that again on the boss. We can see how much damage it does. Comparatively. I'm gonna steal his bar. Damn, this is so nice. He just steals his SP. All right, let's take out these side units first, just so they they're no longer a threat. Put up a shield, just so nobody gets attacked down or anything. Alright, I just want to do a full, full nuke on the boss. Alright, let's just take out this side unit really fast. Oh, did he not crit? Or is that the Cupid not critting? Okay, he has a full bar now. Should be able to do some, uh, some crazy, crazy shit very, very soon. Uh, all right. Actually, what I wanted to test is I wanted to try and um, compare the damage of the two after I armor break the boss. So I'm gonna armor break the boss with the Thor, and hopefully this lands. Okay, got resisted. Never mind. We'll just use one more turn to kill this side unit. Hopefully, he doesn't get attacked down this turn. All right, let's let's try armor breaking the boss. If not, we'll just do his nuke um, without armor breaking the boss. All right, let me let me let's do a com damage test of the two um, without armor break. So the boss's HP is currently over here right now, and we're gonna use the Gatito to nuke. So it went from about here to here, uh, so it's like this much, and then we'll we'll do this. I think he... Does he do more damage? I can't really tell. We'll, we'll have to like slow this down like... Really, really slow this down. Aw, oh, unlucky. He got silenced. But my Cupid didn't. Let's see if we can uh, we can get an armor break on him before before we kill this boss. And hopefully he can get a full bar. Oh, this could very well kill the boss. Ooh. Get a full bar? Alright, and then silence is off. Alright, alright. We'll, we'll, we'll end this we'll end this with a blast. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can armor break the boss, 
And then we'll just use use him to nuke and see how much damage it does. Please land. Ah. Sad. Never lucky. Alright, let's let's have him end this. I need to count how many hits this actually does. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think seven, maybe? It was like seven hits of 14k. Which is which is a shit ton of damage if you think about it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That was the uh, that was the, the the spotlight for Dark Shinobi. Now you might you might not find him like super super impressive um, if you just compare the damage to the Dark Atito. But the good really good thing about him is he actually has really nice tanky stats. Like if you if you take a look at his base stats, um, his HP and defense are much much higher than the Dark Atito, which means that if you gem him up with uh, like one slot HP or triple attack. Uh, with some nice HP substats. On the Dragon Speed 10 stage, he can actually maybe survive one hit from the Light Purse, which means that you have less chance of failing. Um, and as long as you have enough attack on the second skill to do enough damage to the uh, to to the to the Dragon, um, you'll be able to take him down. So I think he's definitely an upgrade if you're planning on using him for Dragon Speed 10. Plus, he also looks cool as fuck. So that's uh, we'll, we'll give him extra points for that. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the spotlight for the Dark Shinobi. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Um, this was this was a, was a pretty good one, I, I think. Um, if you guys want me to do monster spotlights for your your monsters, um, I you should uh, PM me on Discord because I uh, I'm I'm getting a lot of requests, and I think I've lost like half of them through um, just random comments. Like I, I a lot of times I uh, when I'm replying to comments on YouTube. A lot of people tell me to add them. They have a monster that they want to spotlight. And I have this like little list on the side of my computer, just a little note, and I, I put their names down. Um, but I think some of them I like either I'm replying to the comment while I'm on my phone or something like that, and then I reply and say I'm going to do a monster spotlight, but I actually didn't put them down on my list, and uh, <laughs> I might have lost like half of them. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a like if you got if you want to make sure I don't lose them um, PM me on discord and I'll put a I'll put a list or a queue of um, all the people like currently wait on the waiting list for monster spotlights on my discord as well just so people can know that if they're not if they're not on the list um, they can let me know and say hey uh, I requested this you know long time ago why the fuck am I <laughs> why, why the hell didn't you do a monster spotlight for me yet so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.